Now, one more thing that I should point out is if you want to work on this active piece right here, the handle, and see through to the photo reference behind it, go to the texture menu, and here you can actually control your model opacity. So if I dial this back, you can see that it changes the opacity of the model so I can see through to the photo reference behind it. Just like that. Alright, so now we're ready to go ahead and add a few more parts. I'm going to go ahead and add these cylindrical forms in using some ZBrush primitives. So I'll go to the tool menu here, and I'll pick the best piece for this, which I think is going to be the Spherinder 3D, as opposed to the cylinder. And I'll show you why. If I select the cylinder, go into frame mode, you'll see this has a pole. However, if I select the Spherinder, see that I get a better, I still have a pole right here at the center, but I've got a better surface here for creating things like this little offset piece, this disk within the disk. It's going to be easy for me to create shapes like that because I'm not dealing with some big long triangles here. Uh, I think in its default shape right there that should be just fine. So what I'll do is turn off frame mode and I'll go ahead and press Make Poly Mesh 3D and that creates a PM3D sphere under. So I will return now to my gun, go to the texture menu and return to the front view, go to the subtool menu and I will append my PM3D sphere under into my tool. Now obviously it comes in way too big so I'm going to scroll down here and select it, and I'm going to scale it down first and foremost, just using the Transpose Scale tool. You know, another fast way to do this as well is just to go to the deformation menu and use the size slider and you can size things down very quickly. I need to rotate it around 90 degrees. hold down the shift key and it'll snap to rotational in increments. Now, you may notice if you're used to using the transpose tools that if I drag off the model right now, it's going to be dragging way back to the background because it thinks that there's a, a plane back there because there is where my image plane is. So I need to kind of adjust my workflow approach here and drag my transpose line from the center of the object not quite off the object. Now you can see that I have uh, an effective way of rotating the tool now. Hold down shift and it will snap to increments. Let's go to the side view now. There we go. And we'll move this over. I just want to size that up so it fits inside that hole. 
turn off transparency. Now you can see that it's pretty narrow, so I'm going to turn transparency back on. Turn on X symmetry. Zoom in here. And let's grow this out. There we go. Now I need to carve out this portion right here. I'm going to switch my active subtool now to this main part of the gun body. And I'm going to go to the clip circle brush. Let's click skip this note. And I really do need to, to clip this to more of a circular form. There we go. much better. And I need to do the same for this piece right here, this internal subtool. Turn on my transparency. And I can actually carve a bigger circle out of that. There we are. Now if I go back to my cylinder here, I can scale this up and make it fit much nicer. There we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and save our work.